Hello, my son and I are playing The Hunter Call of the Wild. We are grinding a Great One Red Deer on Te Awaroa. And uh, we have stacked uh, what we thought was 21 level 9s. Um, during the hunt, we're going to find out that we actually had an extra one. Uh, I'm going to show you all 22 kills and how many diamonds and how many trolls we get. So uh, we have started out here... Uh, some of our zones have more than others. This zone, uh, I believe, has one level nine, and it takes him a minute to show up. It's kind of early, but uh, there he there he comes. We just got to wait for him to walk on over. He's taking his sweet time to get over. And uh, this guy, some of these you'll see I shoot with a 300 um, because they have crab racks. They are guaranteed trolls, um, yep. like this guy here. I'm gonna take him with the the. 300 because I know he's not going to be diamond, so I just want him down. I don't care what he is. I'm not going to taxidermy him. Uh, we'll just drill him with the Argus scope from you know 300 meters. In most cases, that one was I think 150, a little over 150. And we're just going to scroll through all the stuff that you don't really care to see. You know, running back and forth to get the recoveries. So we'll just show you all the trophies. And uh, so here, this first guy, we know he's a troll. We just had to get him off the map, so took the shot and. Uh, there we go. Now he shows up as silver because I didn't get uh, integrity because I used the wrong gun. But again, I knew I was using the wrong gun. It's no problem. I didn't want a gold anyway. Then we'll go back down and uh, check some other maps. Um, this map here I call the Lake of Giants because right now there are six level nines on that map. And as we've been grinding red deer, uh, usually we'll kill them with you know, when we get five or ten, we'll kill them. This time we decided to actually go for 21. Um, so now we're going to start cleaning them up. The Lake of Giants, this lake has always been one of my preferred spots for red deer. And uh, it's just, it's super prolific. So we're going to see how many we can take out here. Um, I know there's a crab rack across the lake. And uh, I think the rest of these have a shot at being diamonds. So, you know, there's those two across the lake. There's a crab rack. Um, so there's two across the lake. There's two right next to me on the eastern shore. Then there's two straight across from me on the southwestern shore. And I'm just going to spot them all and just show you how great this lake can be. And uh, then I've got a hunting stand set up. From the stand, it's 150 to that zone. Uh, it's 300 to the north end of the lake, a little over 300 to that corner where I have two nines. And then I have a 10 on the other side that I'll use to get these two that are on the, the western side. So let's just come up here to the hunting stand and uh, see how many we can get. And these, I definitely want to use the 7mm. There's one. There's two. And now that will not spook the ones up here, so I'm going to see if I can get both of these. i get my breath under control here. So I'm going to take the one that's not a crab rack first, use my best shot on him. Make sure my breath is good. And then my second rushed shot will be on the crab rack, just in case, you know, if I don't vital him or screw it up, then it's no big deal. And that was too low. I'm going to tell you right there. I wound him. I don't kill him. Uh, you'll see me come back and kill him again a little bit later. So let's go pick these up. I think one was floating over to me. Yeah, so we'll wait for this guy to float over, pick him up, and then we'll go grab the other two that were killed. So that guy was an absolute troll. He showed up as gold. Um... He, I think his score was 249 to something, and so I thought he would have been a lot higher, but he was not. But that's just how the game goes. You know, not all nines are are diamonds. This guy over here that was smaller, he ends up being a diamond. So, go figure. And then uh, we'll go pick up one of the two that I shot up in the, the corner. Sometimes we call this the thumbs up lakes. It looks like a, a guy making a thumbs up gesture and they're up at the thumb. But this has aptly named the Lake of Champions just because it's full of giant red deer. So we'll go grab the the one that we took out. Picking up another one. He is a diamond. That's a nice one. Three, four, two, one. This is a four. 
All right, let's move on. I'll come back for that other guy later. So uh, this lake we call the cookie jar because just like the Lake of Champions, it's always popping full of uh, big nines. So there's two at that zone across the lake. That zone always has had nines when we've gotten nines to spawn. And then I've got uh, I've got one down towards the southern end. It's like a little island, little peninsula. And then I actually find level nine number 22 as I'm scanning the map. See, I'm, I'm always scanning the zones. Now that guy over there is crab rack, so I don't care how I hit him. I've got deer over here. I've been grinding, and so I'm just figuring I'll check them. And then whoa, what's oh, there? We go. I have a new nine. Another nine. Twenty-two. So we're on tap to kill 22 nines today. So let's head on down to the hunting stand uh, or the hunting blind, and we'll shoot them from there. That just keeps hunting pressure low on my map. I'll take the closer shot first. He's a crab rack. He's going to be a troll, so I'll hit him with the 300. Now that will not spook the other deer across the lake, so I've got time to get the 7mm out. There we are. One, two, and now I can go for the new one. Now let's get this new one. So we are going for our first red deer, great one, and uh, we're up almost around 2,000 kills at this point, and uh, it's been a little frustrating. And so I, I read a Reddit thread where a guy said to stack 21 and then kill them all at the same time, and then he, he said within you know 50 to 100 kills beyond that he well, spawns a, a great one. So we're going to put it to the test. Um, I honestly thought we would have had the great one by now, but we haven't, so we're going to try his way. And if we get it within, you know, under 100, then I will definitely let him know that it works. Of course, we'll have killed, you know, over 2,000 red deer at that point. But anyway, this guy was the crab rack. Um, you can see his antlers look like little crab claws. So uh, it's easier to see that from a distance. So I knew he was a troll. Then we'll come over, we'll get the new one, and then I've got two to pick up in the other zone. So, uh, and I, I noticed that the, the new one happened to be floating over to the stand. I didn't see that before. So we'll grab these two guys and then I'll we'll run back over across the lake because inconveniently he decided to float over to the ground blind. So let's grab both of these. If you can place your blinds and stands, you know, so you are you know, good ranges from the zones that make such a such a difference. You know, being 150 from a zone and 300 from a zone, uh, it's you know I'm sure most people do that, but if you don't, it absolutely helps uh, when you're grinding because you can get multiples. All right, let's run back over to the ground blind, and we will pick up that floater. And I could teleport, but I've had issues in this game when I teleport and they have, they're have they on the water, they will despawn. And I did not want him to despawn, so I ran all the way over and picked him up. Now I'm going to go back and uh, get two more at the Lake of Giants. I've got two nines that were on the western shore, so I come at them from this stand. A little over 300 meters with the Argus. It's not a problem. Get the 7 millimeter. See if we can get two more nines on the board or on the ground. There's one. There's two. Nice. Now I looked for that crab rack over here that I wounded, but he hadn't shown back up. So um, the next time I uh, hit this lake, I will take care of him. And I'm just checking my respawns. You never know if the great one's going to pop up. 
or another nine. I'd already gotten another nine. So we'll grab these two. All right, it's about 9.30. Probably change the time. Yep, and then I come back to the Lake of Giants. There's the guy wounded, 0 to 25%. He's a crab rack. He's going to be a troll, so it doesn't matter how I hit him. I'm not even going to shoot him from the stand. I'm just going to get my range right and just plug him. We'll do the 300. We'll knock him down. Make sure my breath's okay. Oh, and of course he starts moving. I don't care. I just need to hit him. I just need him dead. I don't need to score a vital on him. And uh, we'll go to my pickup tent over on the other side, which I use to, so I can shoot both sides of this lake because this lake is awesome. And I'll pick up this troll. And I managed to hit a vital, so go figure. All right, so this is, we call it the machine gun nest. Put a little ground blind up on top of this, a little outcropping that overlooks the river. We've got four nines down here on the river, two at the west zone, two at the east zone, but only one has shown up at the west zone. But as I'm picking up the three dead ones, the fourth one is wandering down to the zone, and I take him out. You'll see that here in just a moment. When I'm just spotting all the nines. I'm going to go for those two first. They're right next to each other, though, so that's easy with the recoil. I can just come right back and get the next one. Um, I've got a female kind of blocking that one, which is less than optimal, but I'm hoping that my first shot will maybe scare the female and give me an open shot. Boom, right there on that male. And now I'm going to take the third one over here at the west drink zone. Make sure that the fourth one hasn't come back yet. He has not. Nothing. So let's get that guy. Now this is a front-on shot. Uh, for whatever reason right now, the game does not like bullets to penetrate front-on. So I hate taking shots like this. I'd rather have one right into the ribs. But as you can see, he's going down. I managed to get lucky. As half the time, my bullets penetrate about a quarter inch into their chest. And does nothing from uh, when it hits him square in the, in the front of the chest like that. So I'm going after uh, these to pick them up. I've got three dead ones. There's the first one. It's a decent, uh, decent diamond. And then there was, uh, there's one over there. So I kind of mark his spot, but then I'm tracking blood for this one over here. And this one, I believe, was a troll. Yeah, that one was a troll. So I didn't get a vital, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because he he was trolling me. So then I come back to pick up the third one that I'd marked, and I'm just kind of checking the deer, and then uh, guess what I see? Here comes number four. And that's a nice one. Uh, goes up to 305. Pull out the gun. Of course, he starts to trot a little bit. I just take my time. I don't want to take a shot with him on the move if I can help it. Oh, yeah, turn right there. Say cheese. And he's down. So let's go pick up these two. So we came about stacking like this through herd management. If you're not familiar with herd management, I absolutely think it's vital to the game if you want to get diamonds or great ones. Um, what you do with something like this that goes to level 9, you shoot all the 5, 6, 7s, and 8s that you see and force the game into throwing higher level deer into your zones. And uh, on Te Awaroa, there's not a lot of zones it's pretty easy to cover um, this lake has four 
level nines on it. Anyway, you shoot the five through eights and stack the nines as many as you can. We were stacking, you know, between five and ten, and then we would shoot them, but this time we tried 21. If you're shooting like moose, we picked up our great one moose after about 2,000 kills, um, you shoot the threes and fours, and you leave the ones and the twos, and then you start to stack fives on your map. So I spot all four. I think I only saw three of these. That's a crab rack, so I'll just drill him with the 300. And we'll come back with the 7mm. And there should be another one over with that 7. There we go. Again, I hate shooting into the chest because it seems like it's... Uh, you can see he's not dropping. So hopefully he doesn't die. And spoiler alert, he doesn't. I end up hitting him one more time. And this one, I it's hard to tell if the trees are in the way, but uh, he's going down, so I got him. And there is. We'll go pick uh, pick up these two. But then I happen to notice on the map that another one had died. So there's crab rack. Uh, he hadn't died yet, I guess. Because I'm running up here now, I, I see that there's pressure in his zone, so I know he's died. And I look and uh, where'd he go? There he is. Uh, see, there's the 9 0 to 25, so I just need to put a round into his lungs. And uh, we'll have him with integrity. Right there. Make sure I saw him on the ground. So then we'll go get these. Uh, get my dog on the track of this one. One hint uh, with your dog. Uh, especially as you've maxed out all their skills. If they run from blood spot to blood spot, stopping to sniff each one, the animal's not dead. It's going to be a hunting prey. But if they bolt in the direction of where the animal lies dead, then you know you got him. So it'll save you some time if you see your dog stop at every blood spot. Stop, sniff, and then he'll move on. Then just skip it. You didn't kill it. So let's go back and uh, pick up these others. So there, the second shot got him in the vitals. And then we'll just book up the 70 meters or so to this guy's body. And so we're almost done. I've got, I believe, two more on the map. And one I haven't shown on the video, but I've been to that zone like five times and to that lake, and he has not shown up. And I was kind of worried he was glitched out. And then uh, after I'd taken out number 21, I went back to, to the Rotuni South Lake, and there he was. And he was a big one. He was a guaranteed diamond, so I was glad to get him. So we're going to come out here. Oh, actually, sorry. We have an additional one here at the bay. Uh, this guy's a crab rack. That's why I failed to remember him. He's across the lake from the blind. 300 meter shot. Let's... Uh, Put a 300 round into him. Stop his trollish ways. And hold this. There we go. And then there's a pickup tent over there. Let's go pick him up. And our pickup tents are kind of far from the zones. That's so we can hunt both sides. Um, some people put them right next to the zone, which is fine, but if you ever go there, it's going to scare everything at the zone. So there's that troll. Okay, two more. One up here, we call this the, the nose or the nostril lake. It looks like a giant nose with two nostrils, and there's a crab rack in the left nostril. And there he is, right there. So he, again, he's a troll. So we'll take out the 300. He has a little bit of uh, defilade from the hill, so we'll just uh, do our best. I don't care if I spine him. But I managed to actually hit him right in the lungs. So we'll go pick him up, and then I got one more. You've seen 21, and you've stayed for 22. So we'll see if we can uh, 
get this guaranteed diamond. I had high hopes. He, he went from like 259 up into the 290s. And uh, my hopes were dashed when he was a diamond, but scored quite low. In fact, over all of our diamonds that we have gotten of Red Deer, I think our high is 270. Um, and this grind alone, out of these 22, there's that big boy, out of these 22, we ended up with 13 diamonds and 9 trolls. So uh, this is a great way to get diamonds, to stack them, because you end up seeing a lot. Like, uh, you know, we were getting two or three new nines every day. Once we hit about ten, ten nines on the map, every day we were getting two or three nines. And that's hunting, you know, maybe an hour or two, doing like two full rounds of drink times. And so let's go pick this guy up. Thirteenth diamond. Now we're hoping in another 50 to 100 kills we have a great one. So fingers crossed. And... uh Happy hunting, you guys.